Hello guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, so we Kosonaga gave us a sprint, if you remember, to recap, and it was seen as damning evidence that there was no gun, but we are trying to prove that there isn't. That there's something wrong. You bear to, you'd bear to, <clears throat> you better know what you're doing when no skin. Hmm, I understand your objection, counsel. <laughs> Certainly, the new evidence submitted by the detective has not undergone the court's scrutiny. However, I fail to see how we can glean any new information from the samba. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. Really, the prosecution is becoming tired of this rookie's desperate wheezes. Yes, I am desperate, but this isn't a wheeze. Something about this photograph. Which just doesn't seem right. If only I could put my finger on it. Very well, I will grant the defence one final opportunity. What? But be warned that if I am unsatisfied by your response here, the trial will be over with immediate, immediate effect. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Excellency. So, take another look at this photographic print in Spectre Hosanaga piece submitted before. You are identified for the court, where in this print we see the significant detail to which you have alluded. Oh. It's the Phantom's hand. Look at this here. There's a very unusual mark on the victim's wrist. That is true. It looks almost like a burn of some description. Dear me, I was pondering what new pepper you would come up with. A burn, you say, on the victim's wrist? Clearly that has nothing whatsoever to do with the... Magnificent lady's handbag. Yes, that is a bit mark. You are right. Go on, Inspector. The police coroner also noti noticed it when he was performing the post mortem report. It was deemed unrelevant to the cause of death, so he didn't note it in his report. What did I tell you? In any case, we have no idea when the victim suffered this burn, do we? No possible way of knowing either. Yes, we do, because it looks familiar. The more I look at it, look. The more I find myself intrigued by the curious shape of this m Oh, wait, that's the judge. The more I look at it, the more I find myself intrigued by the curious shape of this mark. However, as Professor Prosecutor Ochi points out, unless a firm connection to the case can be shown, I cannot allow my any further time to be spent on the precise details of this burn. Excuse me, Your Excellency. It would seem Miss Burr has a lunch appointment with the Dean and of the University staff. Oh, go away. You stay here with that excuse. Wait, no, don't go away, but... 
We would like to know if she may be excused from the stand now. Oh, of course, of course, dear lady. We shan't told you up any longer. I'm sure his excellency is about to give his final will in any way. What's your thinking on this, Renoske? Do you believe this burn does have something to do with the case? To be honest, I'm not really sure. But if I don't keep pushing, then it's all over. So I was thinking I should keep digging and digging in the hope that I might uncover something useful. Yes, you're right. I am? If we can just link that burn to the case, if we can do that, we might be able to pr prize the shutting door, pry the shutting door back open again. Just give it up, Council. You can't possibly hope to do that. Indeed. In my favour for evidence, I can't allow you to pursue was a little more than conjecture. But if we had the evidence... Evidence that irrefutably lent the burn on the victim says to the case and you would allow it. I would, yes. To tell the truth, I hadn't noticed the burn. But soon as you pointed out what I did notice, was the colour draining from Miss Barrett's face. Really? I, I have to find some link between that burn and the case. Here we go. Let's do it. This is a moment of truth. It's time to find some evidence that proves what that burn really means. So then, the defence will now present its evidence to the court. What evidence? I must, yeah, it's the, um... No, not that. It doesn't show this, because it shows the both. What's this, Council? Yeah, an offer print? Yes, Your Excellency. I believe this photographic print... I believe photographic prints are an amazing invention. When we humans look at it, seeing we miss things. But in the photograph things we may have overlooked at the time are recorded forevermore. Do you have a pretty way to see? To inconvenience this poor lady any further will really be quite inexcusable. I see we may need you to stay with us a little longer if you don't mind, Miss Brett. You see, it's very, it's very, it's very clearly visible in this other photograph. How did the victim come to have a non see burn on his wrist? The reason is recorded here forevermore. What? Hoy! You can't fool me with your little bluffs, boy. If that's your game, then let's see all this place out. Share the code exactly what you mean. What's this photo what is in this photograph that explains the reason for the victim's burn? The, the beef steak? I see, the point is the metal plate the beef steak is served on. The plate? Ah, oh. ugh! Your Excellency, are you alright? As you can see, there's an emblem on the plate. I would guess it's some sort of trademark of Le Canafel. Ah. Oh. The emblem on the plate. And the victim's burn. 
on exactly the same shape. Ah! Renosuke, Renosuke, you genius. You're spot on. Which means the victim must have suffered this burn while he was present at the restaurant. But, but even if that is the case, we can't know if it happened on the day in question or not. It could have been the day before or the day before that. It's most, it most likely happened at the same point at some of an unrelated time. Well, um, hmm. Sorry, Prosecutor Archie. Archie. The chances of that are extremely slim. Thanks. Why? The outline of the burn is clearly discernible. Such a serious in injury would have caused quite a commotion in the restaurant. Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hosanaga? I can't imagine having missed such a terrible disaster, certainly. But, but... We well, say, looking at the pitching of the wind, uh, it wasn't suffered very long ago. And although it's not particularly large, but a particularly large burn, it's extremely well defined, as the defence just pointed out. Uh, well, this is no mild burn, that's for sure. Can you be more pacific, Inspector? Well, let's see. If the plate was around 90 degrees centigrade, a burn like that would have taken around 3 seconds. It's inconceivable that the victim would have let out a sc wouldn't have let out a scream of pain then. I've been in first to get in the restaurant for several weeks already, but I've not heard anyone scream at all. As a head waiter of the carnival, I can testify to that without hesitation. But you, you're a detective, not a waiter! Yes. There you have it, something isn't right here. As a detective said, anyone who burned themselves on a pipe and hot plate for three whole seconds would scream in pain. There's no question of that. And your better horse and naga never heard the professor scream. On that day, or any before it. That's right. And the strange thing is, on the day he was shot, I didn't hear him cry or either. What are you suggesting? Suggesting. Well, if the professor certainly laid his rest on the plate for anything like three seconds that day, that would be beyond careless, I think, Consul. And the rest of us in the restaurant, myself included, myself, the sergeant, and the old antique stealer, all of us, without any question, would he have heard him scream. Wouldn't you agree, Professor Archie? Hmm? Well, um, yes. Well, yes, I suppose. So the question is, why didn't a single person hear Dr. Wilson scream? I, I almost don't believe it. No, Suki, do you mean he was already dead? Can that really be true? And if I don't, we... We'd arrive at a conclusion like this, but I'm starting to think that maybe we've been led into a terrible trap. There's only one explanation I can think of that to make sense of this impossibility. On the day of in question, when he suffered the burn to his wrist, Dr. Wilson. No man can remain silent while his wrist was burned 
Nun on a pipe and hot plate for three whole seconds. That's clearly impossible, apart from one particular situation. Console, are you suggesting? Yes, it's only possible if the man was already dead. Already dead? Knowing what we know now, it's the only possible explanation. When the beefsteak was spotted out to Wilson's table that day, the professor was already dead. That's... that's... madness! Anyway, I'm going to end this off here, so I...